Good day. Today we're going to make a mausoleum. Let's check it out. So let's get rid of our cube, and what we're going to do is we're going to add a circle. So let's go to Add Mesh, and then Circle. So then from here, let's go ahead to Edit Mode. Okay? Edit Mode. And what we're going to do is we're going to make this uh, sort of circle kind of nice. We're going to make it a little fatter, so I just press my S key to scale it. And what I'm going to do then is I'm going to do just an extrude. Okay? I want to lock that along the z-axis, okay? Just about yaw, and now I'm going to scale that in. Excuse me. I'm going to first extrude and then scale it in just a little bit. Ah, that's what we wanted. Yes. Okay, so we've got a good base like that, and now we're going to extrude that again. We're going to put lock that along the z-axis. Okay. So I'm just going to put it up there for now just so I can see it. Uh, okay, so that's looking pretty good. Let's extrude that again. Let's put it like mm, right about here. It's a really big column. I might have made it a little too large, but that's okay. Extrude it just a little bit more. Okay, so that's looking nice. So now what we need to do is we need to make a solid sort of out, uh, column. So we're going to go ahead here, extrude scale but instead of going out we're going to go in uh, instead of going in we're going to go out a little bit there we go then let's extrude and then set it up along the z-axis good stuff and now let's extrude and then scale inward okay so that's a solid column so right now so far what we've made is just a very simple column it's a little big that's okay we're going to scale it so now let's go ahead switch back to object mode you can see that's what our column looks like so let's go ahead then to uh, just our scale manipulator and yeah let's let's dial this puppy down because she is too big there we go that's looking pretty good there looking looking pretty nice let's squish it a little bit more oh there we go that's looking good that's what I was looking for nice let's just scale it a tiny bit more nicely done okay so what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to add a plane. First, though, let's move this. Let's move this down and mm, down and just like here for now. We're going to be putting her down uh, later on. But for now, let's go ahead and um, add what's called a plane. So let's go to add, uh, mesh, and then plane. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to scale this out. Okay. And that's going to be just sort of our floor, okay? Okay, so after we've got that plane uh, sort of place that's going to be sort of our ground, uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to place the sort of main uh, part of our uh, mausoleum, okay? A mausoleum sort of a, a cool big tomb. So let's go ahead, let's add a, uh, another mesh, and this time it's going to be a cube. Okay, mesh cube. All right, so good stuff. Now, what we're going to do, let's place it so it's just flush with our friend there. And now let's scale it. <clears throat> and while I'm at it, I'm also going to move my uh, light out of the way. That's just, just silliness for now. Okay, so now I'm going ahead and I'm going to make sort of my mausoleum a little bigger. Okay, just sort of scaling it up. Okay. Notable mausoleums, the Taj Mahal. Okay, Taj Mahal. Excellent. So let's go ahead then. So that's what we want for that building. Now, notice you see I've got my that main sort of building part extending below. That's okay. Our camera's not going to see that, so that's fine. Okay, so now we've got our sort of uh, our pillars there, or one pillar now, and uh, our block. Let's go ahead and let's make some nice symmetrical stuff. So let's go ahead, and I'm going to go and I'm going to duplicate. Now, in this case, let's make it simple so it's on the same level. We're going to lock this along the Y axis. So right now I press the duplicate button. Now I'm going to press my, the, the, the letter Y on my keyboard. That's going to lock that so it stays along the y-axis. 
So let's go ahead, let's just put that there on the other side. Let's duplicate it again. Press the Y button. I'm going to have my at pillar just sort of right next to it. And then let's duplicate it again. Lock it. Y axis. And I want to, woo, where did you go, Duder? Let's say undo that. Okay, duplicate. Y axis lock. There we go. Where do you fly to, dude? Okay, there she is. And I'm just going to make it symmetrical like that. Okay, so there we go. So far, so good. Actually, you know what we could do? This almost looks like the Lincoln Memorial as well in uh, some respects. But anyways, so we've got that. That's kind of nice. Now, while I'm here, I'm also going to uh, just align my camera here. So I'm going to go to View, Align View, and then uh, Align Active Camera to View just for now. Okay, I'm actually going to probably rotate that camera, but that's going to be in a little bit. Last step with this is going to be to add an entrance to our tomb. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead. I just selected my cube there, that sort of background cube. I'm going to tab into uh, edit mode. Okay, so I just now in edit mode, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to subdivide the uh, this this place. So I'm going to do a go ahead select just the face select mode, select just that front face there. And we're going to go ahead and do a subdivide. Subdivide, subdivide, and one more for good measure. So let's go ahead. I'm going to set it so it's just, we'll say here, one, two, three, four, five, six cubes of that size. Actually, I'm going to move it over a little bit. So it's sort of like, let's do a whole thing. I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead then, do a delete, and then faces. And now, as you can see, the cube is now hollow. Okay, so you can see, I'm going to go back now to object mode. And now what I'm going to do, too, is I'm going to move the cube down so that entrance is flush with my ground. Okay? So that's looking pretty cool right yeah. now. I'm actually going to go ahead then and do a view. And I'm going to align my camera to this again. Align view. Align active camera to view. Uh, looking pretty good, though. All I want to do is I want to back this camera up, and I really, you know what? I want to. I I don't want this view. I want to. I'm going to play around some more until I get what I want. So let's go ahead, and I'm going to just twist this just a little bit more. Ah, yes, perfect. Okay, so let's back this up a little bit, and I'm going to just go a little bit. Yes, let's try that out. Let's try this. Let's see what we got. So let's do a view, align view, uh, align active camera to view. That's, yes, yes. So let's grab it and move it just a little bit. Now let's render that. Ah, let's get our light source set up first. So let's set our light to be, I don't know, obviously behind our camera or near it. Let's render that. Okay, so that's sort of like a simple tomb. Looking pretty good, except we need to add some materials, and it doesn't look like these two columns here are symmetrical. So let's go ahead then, go back to our 3D view, bring our light source up, and then also um, let's bring it a little closer to that. Let's see what that looks like now. I can live with that. That's pretty cool, actually. Um, so that's cool. Okay, next step. Let's add some. Let's add a one material for our our building here. Let's do something like this. Let's do a material setup. Um, I actually I'm gonna keep it white, but I'm gonna set it to the texture to a marble. Okay, so right now I went to my material. Now I'm gonna go ahead here to my texture. So let's do a new, and instead of clouds. We're going to set it to marble. Okay. Now the one thing too is, you look at it, it's going to be, if I render it, it's going to go to that dumb pink color. Yeah, I'm not having a, I'm not using a pink marble thing. No, that's not going to happen. Let's go ahead and change our, view, our color there to sort of an off-white. I'm going to do mine sort of like a like grayish, bluish type of color. Okay, so you can see it there. Now let's render that, that uh, main building there. That looks kind of cool, a little too much blue, but I'll, I can live with that. Okay, next step, add, um, I want to go ahead then, I want to set my 
pillars all to the same sort of material. So I just selected all four of them. I'm going to go ahead then, add a new material. I'm going to set their color to... Uh, hmm. Actually, it's only letting me do one pillar at a time. That's okay. Let's do another color. Let's say like a... Yeah, yeah, kind of like a... Um, uh, a bluish color again. Yeah, I can live with that. Yeah, another bluish color. Mm, now nah, let's let's change it up to sort of a brownish. Okay. There we go. Okay. So we got that material. And then uh, let's go ahead again to our texture. And I want marble again. I want that marble color. Actually, you know. Let's keep it with that texture we had used with the other with the other one. So there's that other texture. Um, except change the color again to like sort of a like that. Let's render that. Not too too bad. So uh, my last step, I'm going to add the ground. I'm going to just play, have fun, make it green, something like that. You know, just have fun, fun with it. This is this is kind of a cool thing. Now let's add a new material. To add the color, let's do like a greenish color. Just it'll be like pretend grass. And then let's go ahead. Then so we've got our three circles. Make sure that the circles are using the same sort of materials. Okay. So let's go ahead here to the materials. Good, good, good. Let's go ahead here to the. Right, there she is. There she is. Let's select that other material. Good to go. And then finally, good to go. Let's make sure correct textures are in play. Yes, they are. Let's render that. Okay, so that's sort of a simple thing you can do. Uh, I mean, that was not a very complicated project, but uh, think of some other things you could do. Okay, if you wanted to, you could subdivide that back part of your tomb. You could add more pillars and columns. That would be really cool. Also, you could add something like along the top here that's called a freeze. Whatever you do, just make it awesome. Play around with your light source. I look forward to your work.